Here in a freshwater habitat, the purple swamp hen thrives amongst the lush vegetation, particularly the reeds that grow along the banks in this ecosystem across the eastern coast of Australia. This medium-sized waterbird has a trademark blue chest and red beak. It has evolved long legs and toes to help it walk across water plants and submerged branches in wetland areas. You can also see a contrasting white undertail, which it uses as a warning to predators to let them know they have been seen. As seen here, verbal communication is also used through conspecific callings. Here the purple swamp hen can be seen feeding, which can be done on land or in the water. It forages on soft shoots, reeds and others' eggs, and small animals such as frogs and snails. A feeding behaviour particularly displayed by this bird is its use of its long toes to grasp food and stabilise it whilst consuming it. These birds are also very social and tend to stick together in small groups, particularly when raising offspring. Water hens are known for being monogamous maters and all adults in a group contribute to ensure offspring survival. Purple swamp hens communicate using their tail flicks, mainly for predator interaction. The stark white colouring that contrasts their other dark feathers plays a role in temporarily startling predators. However, it also serves the purpose of alerting other group members of predator proximity. Their long legs make them excellent walkers in an aquatic environment. However, swimming proves to be more challenging. Their swimming style is more awkward in comparison to birds with webbed feet such as ducks. Nevertheless, they use this mode of transport over short distances. Their round bodies and long legs certainly don't make them ideal candidates for flying. Therefore, they don't tend to fly across large distances. However, if a threat emerges, they do have the ability to fly, hanging their legs behind them. However, takeoffs and landings do tend to be clumsy. Due to their specific adaptations, this bird species is thriving and populations are continuing to increase. With rising human and nature interactions, swamp hens have transitioned well and can often be found in parks and recreational areas. Purple swamp hens are living comfortably with no real threat to their survival and are characterised under the category of least concerned. 